And we welcome back to share her amazing knowledge, which we all need at this time of the year, award-winning and head winemaker from the New Zealand Wine Society, Joe Gear. Welcome. Thank you. Really nice to have you in the studio. Mike yeah. and Mark has decided to sit on this one too because, well, he <laughs> comes food. in. Yeah, it's exactly. It's important, eh? It's yeah. food and wine, so it's his area of expertise. Uh, a very important part of Christmas is getting together to enjoy delicious food and wine as well. So what are the rules to match your food with your wine? Well, I'm very relaxed about wine and food matching, to be honest. So my golden rule is pretty much Start with the dish and then choose something you love to drink and then drink it. And if the wine doesn't taste as good as it normally does, then save it till the end of the meal. Job done. What is really nice though when somebody recommends something that you wouldn't normally try mm. is that it does push you outside of your comfort zone and you might really love it. Yeah. Yeah, and I love those new experiences. Okay, well let's just start off with say traditionally roast meat at mm. home. Uh, for Christmas a lot of that happens. What would you match with that? Well, I'm a big Chardonnay fan. I know not everybody is, but Chardonnay is so versatile. It pairs beautifully with all the white meats over Christmas, chicken, turkey, pork. Um, if you've got red meats and anything off the barbecue, it usually rocks an Australian Shiraz. And Ooh. incidentally, which also goes well with the plum duff and probably your Christmas mince pie. Mm. Yeah, I've actually come back round to a Chardonnay. Right. It's not ah. bad at all. Oh, you're not alone there. It is wonderful. But you've got some nice buttery Chardonnay, but you've got some <laughs> um, a few kind of strange matches as well, haven't you, that well, you throw out there? I do. And I think sometimes when you're very relaxed about wine and food matching it can sometimes go horribly wrong but I do I am a fan of salmon and pinot and don't knock it till you yeah. try it a creamy blue cheese with a Marlborough savvy which, oh, which I do we have. should really try what does try? that taste like <laughs> I wonder <laughs> well no, something it's, I prepared earlier. it's a great combination too cheese and wine but you get the right cheese with the right wine just takes it to the next level but blue Absolutely. cheese didn't go with any wine because it's so strong but anyway oh, we shall well, see that's right and this is the great thing about the new zealand wine society you know it's it's an education in wine it's an experience and of course you're getting a selection of some of the best wines which is fantastic or easily catered for you cheers we're gonna get the cheese first. Oh. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Taste then, Mel. Not drink. <laughs> right. So, cheers. Here we go. Let's do a cheers. And is this a lot of cheers? Yes, you're right. Is this a lot of sort of trial and error? Is this part of your job, Joe? Oh, is, well, is I'd like to. Th food? <laughs> yeah. I would like to think it was, Mike. But it is all about what you like. That's the most important thing. Let's okay. taste it. If it agrees. Great. Which way? Is yeah. This? Which way do you go uh, first? Oh, I do. So you've already tried the wine? No. No. All right. Oh, try no. the try wine. Try the wine. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's a beautiful salve, isn't it? Mm, summer. So what are we drinking again? Oh, yum. What's this again? Cape Campbell Reserve Marlborough Savvy. Mm -hmm. A wine of the year for our customers, so it's very popular. And now we have a bit of this. I taste the cheese. Hold it in your mouth. Mmm. Yum. <gasps> Does it work? It really works. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, I love that. There's a little bit of sweetness that comes through. It does. Mm. It Can't does. talk now though because I've got cheese. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. I'm going to have the rest of it though too. Okay, so that's Great a pretty stuff. good one. So, um, good news. What about? Some trends. What's on trend for wine drinking in summer? I think I know what you're going to say here. <laughs> rosé. No, we can't neither. go past rosé. And the modern styles that we're making in New Zealand now are so much drier. They go the distance as a serious drink and they're great food matches. Um, there's nothing more 2018 than going and saying, I'll have an IPA and my husband would love a dry rosé. So. There you go. Brilliant. Yeah, get into the rosés. Which, a bit of that. What one should we look out for? <laughs> yeah. Incidentally, we have one here too. Oh, good. Um, a lot of people do judge the colour of rosé and expect that the darker rosés tend to be sweeter. That is not always the case. Okay. Um, but it's it's the same thing. Just taste it. Mm. Try it. And they, and certainly they're much drier than they used rose, to be. Rosé. That would be my drink. I love it. I'm very on trend because I love a good, Perfect brisk, editor. cool rosé. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can <laughs> hear the control room going, no. <laughs> really we have this, more for later. Would this you is, like? you know, professional activities happening here. You can here. see my glass because of all the lipstick all over it. <laughs> so what, what about some top tips for summer entertaining? What do we need to be thinking about? Oh, well, I am a, um, a big fan of iced tea. Always make sure you have lots of non-alcoholic beverages available. We all need to be responsible hosts. Mm. Um, iced tea is fantastic. It is super easy to make and it's so refreshing. Start with some iced tea, uh, some fruit teas, there's some lovely ones around. Add a spoonful of honey, mm. some soda water, pour it over ice mm. and serve it with a big a whole lot of fresh berries and it, it, it's really lovely everybody loves it i've got to say that's one of the nicest rosés i've ever tasted oh yeah that's no, so nice brilliant. to hear thank lovely. you really drinkable do you like yeah, it no, it's good. i don't, I don't normally like rosé but this is really there nice you go. like you said you can you know you can just drink it it's like a it is like a wine 
Mm. Well, I know it's a wine. <laughs> That's <laughs> the trail walking. <laughs> okay, That's and you've selfish. teamed up to help make Christmas hassle-free for people this year? We have. We have. We've just partnered with Jess's Underground Kitchen um, just to make summer entertaining that much easier for everybody. Um, Jess has created a lovely range of, um, of seasonal uh, protein and vegetable dishes that we've paired with uh, a handful of our wines. And Christmas and seasonal entertaining is all about relaxing and enjoying mm. yourself. And we've just tried to make it that much simpler for you. Excellent. And I love a good red. I see you've got one there. We do. Ooh. Pinot Noir. Nice. Central Otago, of course. Oh, this is a yeah, Central Otago. I do Pinot like Pinot reds. Wine. Oh, good. And Pinots as well, especially from Central. Are beautiful. Thank you, Joe. You're very welcome. There you go. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll have a quick taste. Yes. Mm. Cheers oh, to that's the... absolutely delicious. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so Cheers, much. Joe. You're very welcome. Always Merry a pleasure Christmas. to have you here. Cheers, Mark. Um, fantastic advice, as always. Delicious wine. Thank you so much, Joe. My pleasure. And if you would like more great advice from the wine experts, head to the New Zealand Wine Society website, nzwinesociety.co.nz.